Todd here with Tim Bai. We're on the Chifuncta River. Just launched at 4th Street, heading south. Tim, it's right after the hurricane. Uh, we just had a cool front, a lot of fluctuation and stability. Not typically good for Sokolay, but uh, talk about what we're going to do today. Well, uh, I hope that we're going to catch some fish first, but uh, the storm really didn't affect the Chifuncta River as bad uh, as further west. Uh, but uh, this, I've been here the other day. I looked at a bunch, pretty good bit of fish. Um, it, things are really looking good. Uh, it uh, it really hadn't affected. So I think we're going to do a pretty good, have a pretty good day. Are you seeing with the Sokolay what you would normally see around this time if uh, if you took the hurricane out of the picture? Um, it probably would be just a little bit better. A little bit better, uh, okay. But, you know, hey, I'm going to take what I got. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, yeah. We lucky. So no fish kills here? No fish kills here uh, from what I saw. The only thing that's missing since the hurricane is the big catfish. I don't see as many big catfish and you uh, were, in the river. You which, were seeing those grouped up? Yeah, pretty, which is good for the thick. little sockley because <laughs> they give havoc to the little sockley. But, okay. um, but yeah, you know, we'll see what happens today. You know, uh, we got a full moon last night, second day of a cold front. <laughs> like, like like the norm you know but, uh, perfect conditions yeah we're gonna we we see a few fish but one know? thing you got in your in your arsenal is that uh the, the garmin live scope and uh, uh that really that that helps tremendously i would i would say that's 95 percent of the uh results that i'm getting is the live scope yeah. um the rest of 5% is probably knowing how to read it, and that's it. Uh, and you're looking for the fish, you see them, and you see what goes on. Um, and you see it, if you look around on YouTube, you'll see it. Um, Google it, you know, it's it's real. Um, it's it's really advantage, but uh, it is nice. So. Okay, so we're gonna head we're gonna head south there, start picking apart some spots. Uh, what are we gonna do, just cruise on in, and first of all, see if there's fish there. Yeah. Um, and uh, what, what are you expecting? What are you looking for? Um, I'm hoping to see some fish. I was here uh, two days ago and they had a few fish hanging around. Um, I'm gonna see what happens. See if they're still there. They should be. The bait. If the bait's there, they're gonna be there. Um, the water fell really hard yesterday. Um, we'll see what happens. Different day, you know. Um, so. No shiners. Straight uh, plastics. What are, we, what are we, we leaning a certain way with collars? Uh, I'm gonna go with the blue and chartreuse. And then uh, they don't really react to it. Go to the Panfish Assassin at Silver Shad. Uh, that's my two go-to baits. Um, usually, I'll get results on either one. Uh, but I've seen them hit both of them. I've seen them pick out one better than the other. You know, you just got to figure it out. Any split shot to help bring the lure down? Um, or Actually, I'm using a weighted swivel on top. And with the low current that you're going to have today, I use the lightest I could get away with. Um, it, it's just a it's a way to swivel. You find them online, um, and it keeps the uh, twist out the line. Well, so, let's let's you, get on let's get on down this river and uh, pick out our first spot. Yep, we gonna see what happens. All right. All right, we're at our first spot here, just off the main river. Tim's got the live scope going. What do you see, Tim? Let's see. That's a big fish there. But we gotta ease on up. Get kind of tight. That's a big catfish there. Where's that? What you see in here, Dot? That's a big catfish. That's the tree, the branch hanging down. No fish there. Any separation you see, any dots you see separate, that's a fish. There's a few in part of the other day that were loaded right there. You, had a, you have a different conditions today. The water is actually slowing down from going out, so the fish are going to start uh, spreading out. All that right there is fish mixed into a lay down. All the bright yellow spots, that's all Sokolay. There he is. There he is. 
That's all. Look at, look at right here. All fish right there. And that one pile right that there. One pile, yeah. And then there's more fish right here. We... Tim, we uh, picked up one nice one. And uh, but you, you say the pattern looks like it's changed. This we're in a drain that drains out into the main river, the Trafalca. Talk a little bit about what we're seeing right now. Okay, uh, what happened is uh, things the water is drained out from the hurricane. The fish were setting up in the mix, uh, just going into survival mode. And whenever you see a mix after a water event, they'll be on that upside of the mix. Um, you just, they're just sitting there trying to survive and feeding um, but once that mix stops they scatter back out again we saw that cold front come through yesterday that north wind you say uh, water was pushing out of here but it's completely different it looks like it's still right now so yeah we'll it's uh it's still right now um, so they kind of basically went back to the old pattern we just got to go find them today um, and we will it's uh, you know they, they scattered out. They survived what they needed to do. They fed. They get back to normal. Back to normal here. All right. We're just pulling into our next spot on the Trafuncta. That's Sockley sitting up on the laydown. So right in here. Yeah. Alright, there's his lure going down. Let's see if they're hungry, Tim. Full moon all night. They just don't look like no. Those they don't want play. They just don't look like they're ready for breakfast. to play. Swimming away. Go at him again. He hit it. He saw he had to follow it all the way up. Yeah. Make him commit, huh? Uh huh. like this is going to be the theme for the day. Pull into the a spot, maybe pick up one or two until these fish turn on. You got a suspicion they're going to turn on. Yeah, well, you had that full moon last night. That's kind of hammering them a little bit. We've seen a few fish and they're moving on a little bit, but they really don't want it uh, yet. So just later on when they get a little hungry, they go settle down. We're going to uh, see what happens. Uh, got to play it out, you know. Uh, that's what we call fishing. <laughs> All right, what we're looking at here. Let's see. 
So we just pulled up to our next spot. What's this, Tim? Spot number 20? <laughs> That's the story of the day. We're just kind of, uh, we, we're just pulling up to, to new spots along the river here. Seems like the best chance at catching a fish is our first to second cast. Uh, maybe pulling out that aggressive fish. Uh, but we're slowly putting together a box and uh, we have time. We have time. We have, fish here. we have a few hours to, to scrape together a box. But uh, they got a few fish hanging off that tree. Watch. Okay. See all these right here? That's all soccer. All right. Just sit. Drop it down. <laughs> might be that full moon it might be full we are seeing them pick up a little bit the bite a little bit more aggressive so maybe the momentum's going in our direction as far as these fish uh, getting hungry and starting to feed but uh, we're upwards of 10 12 fish right now we got a few more hours to go so maybe we'll scratch together a good box There we go. Another one. That's one of those fish you just saw. He came out. All right, get another one, Tim. There he is. Good one, too. All right. I think we got Pick us up a little, the pace. Pick up little, the pace. That's a little spot. I love to have been right here when the water was flowing out. <laughs> See him turn around and go down again, you just try and come build up another one. There it comes. Big socolay today, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Just had the weight on them. Yeah, they're nice. Tim is on a tear. Look at this fish. Oh! <laughs> well, hey. Hey, well. <laughs> Give us a couple hours, mate. Yeah, I'll tell you what. My clockwork now. Tim finished out the day I certainly didn't didn't anticipate us catching this many fish by the way the day started uh, day after the front came through full moon they were feeding all night you could tell that by how aggressive they were in the morning nothing they didn't want anything we, we tried numerous spots picking up one and two there but then all of a sudden it was like they got hungry again this water started falling out a little bit out of the Chifuncta, uh main river we started catching them Talk a little bit about what you saw. Well, you said it. Uh, we fought them, but uh, it's just got to be a waiting game. You got to be patient. Uh, that things happen. If they're not biting in the morning, they'll, they'll line out later on. Um, that's where it's been. Uh, now we got some cooler weather now. 
you can stay late in the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Catching them. I mean, you know, typically fishing, especially in South Louisiana, you you know, you hit 12 o'clock, starts to slow down. It's hot. Opposite. Started heating up. These fish were, were getting hungry again, and uh, water started moving. Perfect scenario. Yeah. Uh, just. What a, what a fantastic day. Live scope help, man. Live oh, that, scope was it. tremendous. It's 95%. Like playing a video game and then it switches over to actually catching a fish. So, yeah. but a fantastic day. What are we looking forward to in the next days to come? Cold fronts are going to be uh, working their way through. Uh, temperatures are going to be dipping. I got to think these, these fish are going to be more normalized yeah, in the next weeks to come. It's only going to get better. Um, the, uh, the cooler weather. You'll be able to, the people that want to fish with our lake triangles could pick up fish on the lily pads or in front of the trees. Uh, things are going to be moving up. These fish aren't deep yet, so you can still catch them with a cork, mm -hmm. you know, with our lake triangles, you know. So you could work at them. Might have to cast a little bit, but you could work at them. Well, let's get home and uh, start filleting these fish. You. <laughs> <laughs>